हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम ऑन योर ओन चैनल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस एट होम दिस इज़ हरीश एंड टुडे एज यूजुअल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग डिफरेंट यू नो टीचिंग एट होम इज समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू कीप ऑन फाइंडिंग समथिंग थ्रू विच यू फील लाइक टीचिंग इन द स्कूल इंटरेक्टिंग विद स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्पेशली द टेक्निक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इट विल मेक यू feel very much comfortable while working with your own stylus and your own phone we are talking about an app in which we can write we can draw we can uh, you know record something and there are many more things through which you can make your teaching interesting and definitely interactive as well so today i am going to talk about one application which i have installed in my mobile phone that is my view board it is very interesting application which is specially designed for the teaching purpose so let's see what it is when we open the app then uh, the screen comes as you can see here it is asking for some kind of uh, registration and all but no need to worry about it simply we have to close it afterwards what we observe here we have some tools right and here we have option of settings we can close simply we have some basic tools let's talk about them the very first and foremost tool is this one which is brush so if i click over here you can see the first one is for size right and the second one is for brightness so obviously when we have to write something it should be brighten and the color you can specify according to your need so suppose if i have fixed over here now i can write here if you think that the size is bigger then again you can click here and you can reduce the size and uh, from this option we can do undo this one is for undo this is for redo so if i do undo that means whatever was done that came undone fine now i can write any topic say i write here decimal number fine and if i want to uh, put the screen down this hand option is there which is used basically to work as hand tool itself click over here and then you can come up and down fine there is no limit as such and further if you want to use some kind of symbols then uh, we have a tool this one this particular if i click over here you will find option of different things you can see the shapes this is oval you can draw oval right and further if i click there we have shapes like pentagon hexagon triangle if i make a triangle i am able to make it very easily in the same manner i am having further options of this one got it plus if i click here and if i do plus from here i can choose different colors as well in the same manner at bottom i have different other options of different kind of shapes so these kind of shapes can be drawn and if i do this one selection option just select the things the way you want this is a lesso kind of selection so whatever is selected afterwards you can perform the operation whatever you want to suppose if you want to change the position you can do it if you want to cut it this cut option otherwise directly we could delete this is undo so if i have selected this one so you can delete it if you have selected this one you can delete it and uh, again with the help of hand tool we can shift here with the help of selection tool you can select anything and we can create a copy also if you want to create a copy of this particular uh, selection 
then what we need to do is we need to click over here and then we need to drag it right so this way we can create a copy afterwards we have option of filling the color you can choose the object and you can fill the color suppose if you select these objects and you want to fill the color you decide the color and the color will be filled in the particular spaces then this is for the boundaries right then uh, this is for lock that if you want that there should not be any change in the properties of this object so you can lock it then this is for the brightness and coloring so ultimately there are so many tools in this uh, which we can use if i want to take any kind of picture that is also possible you can uh, do recording also you can take a picture also fine and uh, if you uh, want to use any kind of document you want to pick up that is also possible suppose this is for image file and uh, you can go to any particular folder and you can open any jpg file this way i have opened here and after opening the image you can select it and then uh, crop all basic functions you can see in one tool and then further you can again select the object drag it wherever you want cut it copy paste or create multiple copies that you have to see and uh, then we can uh, look for different pages also like this is page number 2 if you go back this is page number 1 if you click here this is again third page and go back so if i click here this is for opening any kind of web page if internet connection is there so ultimately in this particular software there are lots of tools lots of features which we can work upon which we can try and uh, these features we have to see we are required them or not and according to our need according to our use we have to choose it fine so the more you practice the more you get keep working keep trying and definitely you can share your problems and doubts with me i'll clear them i'm sure that you liked it and definitely i expect you will share it you will subscribe the channel as well thank you so much